this is a great sports city. But for Brad Holmes, for Brad Holmes, who do you think? And I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get the opinions of everyone in here. Who do you think are the most important unrestricted free agents for him to bring back to the Lions? So, so these are just guys who were with the Lions last year, unrestricted free agents. Who do you think is most important to come back? We got guys like Tyson Alualu. We got Michael Badgley, mm-hmm. Anthony Fursker, CJ Garner Johnson, Graham Glasgow, Jonah Jackson, Emmanuel Mosley. There's about 18, 19, 20 of these if you include Teddy Bridgewater. KG, maybe I'll come to you first. Let's cool. Do you know who you would bring back? Who would be most important? I actually like Kendall Vildor uh, this really? year. Really? I did. I did. I like Kendall uh, Vildor. I like Jalen Reeves Maven. Um, if money's not an option, bro, of course, I love Jonah Jackson. I that, love Jonah Jackson. But That's going to be the, the, the one everyone taught. That's going to be the controversial one. Yeah. The, yeah. Everyone's going to have a lot, of, a lot of different opinions. Jonah Jackson. If you have the money, you're paying him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, obviously, uh, CJ Gardner Johnson, that's a guy that um, we had a pretty hot debate this week. Hey-o. Shout out to our brother, Sam. Uh, obviously, if the money's right and if the room is right, I'm bringing them back, man, definitely. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that millionaires need to be motivated to play, but I do believe as it relates to, to kind of developing, getting better, kind of certain experiences that he's able to help within that locker room, I do believe that there's something there. And, you know, from a lot of my guys that play basketball, I know that motivators were huge on our team. And a lot of my guys that play football as well, they said that a guy like C.J. Gardner-Johnson, you always got one of those types of guys on the squad. Not that they can't go out there and find somebody that also produces on the field a little bit better, but for this past season, just like with Emmanuel Mosley, injuries kind of riddled what yeah. they were able to showcase. And so uh, Emmanuel Mosley, he's he's probably more so even than C.J. Gardner, the one that I'm like, you know what? I really wanted to see what he could do. Because when you talk about one of those guys that we thought was going to go out there, step on the field day one, and start guarding the number one yeah. uh, wide receivers on the other team, that's something we sorely, sorely needed. I wonder mm-hmm. like, if he was healthy this year, what happens with these Detroit Lions? Man. Yeah, you don't they know. may be in in uh, Las Vegas right now. It could be mm. real talk. The real talk. I'm glad you brought know. up CJ Gardner Johnson because the cut in we aren't including contracts in this kind. Con- Actually, interpret it as you please. When we were having the the debate yesterday or Monday, um, it's just like why why do you think why would you want Gardner Johnson back? Why would you not? So once you get into the contract, of course the contract is going to change things. But you went you went with a couple different players. I like it. KG of this group, who who do you think might be the most important? Their top two. I mean, come on, guys. It's clearly Nate Sudfield. Come on. We absolutely need him back in he our locker room. He's a star. Stood on this team. Stood. Um, nah, but um, I'm, I'm looking at the list. Graham, I'm going okay, to stay away yeah. from that one because I actually. KG, I don't know how to react. You look so serious. I was like, like, do I laugh? Do I gasp? I was like, I was somewhere in between, bro. Oh, my God. Nah, you good. You good, bro. I got to keep y'all on y'all toes. You know that. But um, Graham Glasgow, to me, is of utmost importance on this list. Um, out of all the names, I would probably sign him first. Um, you look at um, Jonah Jackson, like we said, it, it definitely depends on the money. Definitely bring it back, Germ. Um, he was a revelation in special teams for us. And stepping in on defense, he was a really good substitute this year. Um, and Josh Reynolds, man, I, I think you should bring Josh Reynolds back. If they don't, I understand. But I'm pretty sure he won't command a hefty contract. And he already has the continuity in the system and Jared Goff. So he would definitely be on my radar as well. And KG, would you go – I'm just going to throw this question at you. Would you go Josh Reynolds over Donovan Peoples-Jones, all things being equal, all contracts being equal? Yes. Okay. Um, and and only because we just – we didn't see Donovan Peoples-Jones really worked into this offense. Not to say that he can't be worked in this upcoming year, but uh, like I said, the continuity is already there with Jared Goff and Josh Reynolds. You know, their trust. They play yes. together. They, they've made a deep playoff run together now, two of them. Um, I would definitely lean towards Josh Reynolds instead, but I wouldn't be mad if they chose DPJ. Right, he's I, still a talent. I, I like Donovan Peoples Jones' game, and I think it fits real well. Yeah, if you had to choose between one, you probably stick with the guy Jared Goff's more comfortable with at this mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. But and to be honest, I'm I'm giving Josh a chance to redeem himself, yeah. man, because I, I yeah. believe in him, man. Me he, too. He had a really good year outside of of that postseason run, yeah. which was really just the NFC Championship game, and all the other games he was solid too. So yeah, if I'm if I'm the coaching staff, I know he's chomping at the bit. I know he feels bad about what happened. I'm giving him another year or so to to try and get it back. I like that's, that. That's solid. I like that. JB, your opinion? That's solid. Um. 
I'm definitely bringing Josh Reynolds back. I, I probably have a different opinion on a DPJ than you guys do. I know we didn't see a lot of them, but I just think, as KG just said, Jared Goff is a lot more comfortable with uh, Josh Reynolds. So I'm bringing him back over DPJ. CD Deuce, obviously, I'm bringing him back. Let's go. I, I, yes. Let's go. Hey, big fact. The dude has to come back. I know Sam doesn't like him, the whole ski mask thing. It was a big deal. But, hey, the ski mask thing gave us life. It, it gave us a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of joy. These past Lions seasons that we've had to endure have just been, hey, miserable, at, at to, to say the least. But the, the ski mask thing, it was, it was fun for that time being. And correct me if I'm wrong, Broder. Uh-oh. But doesn't your team... Have some uh, turnover buffs that they wear too Ooh. as well. Ah, that is a thing that they that, do. That they need to thing. introduce like, that. You yeah. can't sit here and say Michigan played top notch the entire season. Yes, they beat every single person, but there were some plays that hey, like uh, it was a little iffy there. So you can't sit iffy. here and have one without the other. Just saying.